Now let's talk a little bit about Ascendant. This is from the Steam page. Defeat legendary abominations, build craft unstoppable combinations of enchanted items, investigate an ancient evil, and ascend to freedom. Ascend from where? Hmm. I wonder if we find out anything about the wizard. If he has a story, if there's a reason he's in these dungeons. Ascendant is a dungeon crawler with heavy roguelike elements. You will encounter three challenging biome-specific enemy types, as well as a mini-boss on every floor. Open soul chests to acquire items with magical attributes. Many of these items synergize with each other to create powerful combinations. Hmm. Three key features. So we have unique biomes, three unique biomes, six bosses, six mini-bosses, nine enemy types, 100 plus abilities. Wow. And it's Tangi enabled, which is great. So if you are a streamer as well, but the interactions actually sound pretty interesting. You can draw an enemy and send it in-game to fight the player. I'm curious to see how that's done. Spawn an enemy, send an enemy in-game to fight the player. Brain drain. Drain the player's aspect meter. Now, the little bit that I've played, and again, I played it to make sure that it would stream properly uh, or work with OBS. The, um, the aspect meter is your what you would consider mana. Or stamina, because everything that you do involves using the aspect meter. So any attack involves using that. Or infinite arcane is the last interaction. Wand casts are free for five seconds. Whoa. Hmm. That sounds really kind of neat. So, what do you say? We get into it. So first thing I'm going to do, I just want to... Oh. Okay. So those are our settings. Hmm. Okay. Might be different in game. That's fine. There's not really much else here we can do. This is our wizard here, our main character. This is, I don't know what her name is. I'm calling her lady for now. This is lady with the big ass hat. That's a really nice hat. <laughs> and, um, plague doctor dude who has feathers? Huh. Okay. This guy honestly looks like a World of Warcraft, like, dwarf. <laughs> I like him, though. I wonder if he has a name. Anyway, let's get into it. So usually the way that I do these, I, I'll do, um, like, I'll try to figure out the mechanics right away. And once I have a decent enough handle on the mechanics, we'll start experimenting. Explorementing. We'll start experimenting. Which, if you've never heard that word, I don't blame you. My mind just kind of fused the two together. Experimenting and exploring. Experimenting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Part of the experimentation process might involve doing some dumb stuff. So you don't have to. Or you don't have to sit there wondering, I wonder what happens if he does that very obviously dumb thing. We'll try our best to find out. Anyway. What's Lady saying? Help! Someone has been using enchanted chalk to release creatures from their confinement. What is enchanted chalk? Will I be able to use that? Ooh, that would be cool. I'm really getting, like thrown into this. There's no, no explanation of anything. Okay. We don't even have names. That's fine. Oh no. Look. It's happening again. Use the left mouse button to attack the belcher. And I'm just pressing and holding it. Oh. What? Oh. Ow. Okay, so that thing spits acid, I guess? Toxic slime? And it hurts us to stand on it, so we have to watch for that. So let's look at our meters here. I don't know what this is. It's just a one, and it's half full. Is that based on the number number of enemies that... I don't know, we'll find out. Um, this is health, because I saw this going down while I was standing on the green slime. So that's no good. We're less than halfway. And this is our... I'm guessing this is our aspect meter. Yeah, because when we attack... It drains, and then it slowly fills up. Ooh, that is really slow. I wonder if we'll be able to enhance that. Anyway, let's see what else she's saying. 
Great job. You can swap between wand cap uh wand caps using the number keys. Try pressing two now and casting it to heal yourself. Wow, you're throwing a lot at me. Uh what are wand caps? Press number two. Oh. Okay, so we have three weapon slots or wand caps. Um, so put on two and Oh, so our health's going up. We're healing ourselves. Looks like you're feeling much better now. Watch your aspect orb. If you run out, you won't be able to cast anything. Well, that's not good. Don't worry, though. It recharges over time. Excellent. Alternatively, you can break these crates and pots for a quick charge. They drop coins as well. Give it a shot. Ha <laughs> give it a shot. Oh, funny lady. Oh, heads up, more creatures are being released. What happened? Yikes, enchanted armor. It attaches to enemies, enhancing their abilities and health. Be careful. He's like got this glow on him now. I've summoned the soul chest to contain these creatures after you defeat them. Is that like a ghost trap? Do I have to lure them there? Press one to return to your, ooh, to your shaping cap and take down these enemies. Oh, this guy's stronger. Oh. What the hell? How did that... Oh, I'll figure it out. Wonderful. Now, go open the soul chest to claim your reward. Needed to heal a little bit more. E. Choose carefully. You can only take one. Okay, what do we have? Hat of Fulfillment. Full aspect recharge from chests. So is that the effect that it has? It's a passive ability, I guess. Description, fully recharge aspect meter when opening soul chests. Okay, that sounds handy. Basic channeling. So this is a wand cap, so I'm guessing this goes in one of these three slots here. No attributes, so it doesn't do anything special, but it does 60 DPS, and it costs an aspect of 15. Ew, that doesn't sound great. I mean, how many shots would that be? That would be, what, six shots? Oh yeah, yes, it'd be six shots and then it would drain, so I'd have to be really, really careful with this one. Then again, 60 DPS, I don't know what my other one does right now. Sturdy core, this is a wand core, I don't know what this is. I guess this is... Hmm, we'll find out. Reliable and balanced, passive, base stats, aspect capacity 125. Well, my... Aspect capacity right now is 100, so that sounds good. And a recharge rate of 2. Oh, okay. I wish it was in a... Oh, hang on. Maybe I can get to my inventory. Uh, I... No. Tab. Oh, okay. So tab opens up our inventory. And... Yeah, okay. Hmm. So... Okay, so for this... Hang on a second. So for this one, the one that does 60 DPS... My current one does 22. Or that's not DPS, that's just damage. I don't have a hat yet, so this might be a good idea. But then again, I also don't have a wand core. So this might also be a good idea. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the wand core, I think. You can find your items in your inventory by pressing tab. Yep. So... No, click drag. Okay. We can drag to this spot. And now it's going up. You can choose to either release the souls for additional rewards, or you can close the chest and continue your journey. Well, what happens if we release the souls? Oh, they come back. Oh, and I have to fight them again. Although, those were different. One was the... I, I don't have names for them. I have to come up with names for these guys. One was the um, living armor thing the um, that infested the other creature, <laughs> made it stronger. We'll call those, uh, I don't know, livies. Just so I have an easier way of referring to them. And um, those big dudes, we'll call them chunkos. I'm sure there are actual names for these creatures, and I don't know if we'll learn them, but... 
Oh, wait. This went up to two. When did that happen? It must have been from killing those creatures. Meet me in the room to the right for your... Oh. That phantom is guarding a soul chest. Oh, those are called phantoms. Okay. Phantom. Okay. Sorry, I make a lot of notes when I'm trying a new game. Phantom is guarding... Okay, so use your parry ability to get past them. How do I do that? Press space right as you are about to get hit. If you time it right, you will avoid damage and send out a surge of aspect. Does I use aspect? No, it doesn't. So this is a free ability. Hmm. I really wish this weren't mapped to my space key, but... So how does this... Oh. I thought I missed it. I thought that was going to hit me. I thought I, I did the um, parry a little bit too early. <laughs> wow, an ascendant cap. These can only be obtained from the most dangerous of creatures. I, I've seen the, the trailer. I know there are more dangerous creatures, but I'm guessing this is just for um, the tutorial. Okay, so let's take it. So we don't have any other options. Close chest. If you have defeated enough creatures to fill up your Ascendant Meter, you can cast the Ascendant Cap to advance to the next level. So that's what this is. This is the Ascendant Meter, and it needs to be full in order to advance to the next level. Now, oh god, I really hope there's more to the demo than just this. <laughs> Please. Uh, open your inventory by pressing Tab. Equip the Ascendant Cap. Okay. Great job. You can swap between wand caps using the number keys. Try selecting the ascending cap and cast it to enter the dungeon. Oh, so we're not in the dungeon. Oh. Please let there be more. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 